Here are four things to consider when buying a new MacBook Pro as a graphic designer. First up, one of the things I worry about the most is the RAM. This RAM, and that's because RAM is going to handle and determine how fast and snappy your computer is when it's handling multiple tasks from programs like Adobe, Illustrator, and things like that. As a recommendation, I don't like to go below 16 gigs of RAM. Eight is way too little, and 16 gigs allows you to handle multiple applications with multiple tasks all at once. Next up is your CPU. You don't really have much choice when buying a Mac, and that's okay because it kind of eliminates all of the frustration trying to figure out which one's better. But the M1 line of chips and the M2 line of chips are really amazing with Apple, and they are perfect for a graphic designer. After that, you have hard drive storage. Actually getting too little hard drive storage can eventually slow your computer down from all the files you saved on that computer. So you wanna make sure you give yourself enough room, even with the files that you're gonna to save to your computer as a graphic designer. As a recommendation, I never go below 512 gigs of hard drive storage. And last but not least, you're gonna to wanna to look at the device size. If you're buying a laptop for the portability, you have 13 inch, 14 inch, and 16 inch. Um, for me, 13 inch was sort of a little small. I eventually had one for work and it wasn't too bad. I now have the 14 inch. I think it's the perfect size uh, for portability and also screen size in terms of working with programs and files and things like that. If you want more information about each of these categories, as well as my recommendations based on what kind of graphic designer you are, you can go ahead, read my full article over on my profile. And as always, if you want more tips on design, go ahead, like this video and follow me.